Right, okay, this is my first unboxing video. Well, I said my first unboxing video, but um, it is one already on my YouTube. But um, anyway, look at this um, awesome I have here. You can be amazed once you see this. It's a Sega Vic. Awesome. And it's focusing quite well actually. I didn't think it would focus very good, but this seems to be <coughs> it says two gig model. But I'm assuming you can put an SD card in. Um this is a blue variant. There's also one which is uh the box is black in colour. Um there's two different types or a couple of different types. I'm not too sure. How many types of they are? It says 5, 12, 1 gig, 2 gig, 4 gig, and 8 gig. And um, we'll take a look at that now in a second. Right. Oh, yeah. Check that out while I'm here. Um, anyway. Back to this. Um, so it's basically an unboxing video for Sega Vision. Awesome item. I'll uh, give it a second. all over again. Now we get to open. Okay. So it's just the empty box. Now we have the nice awesomeness. I'll have a look at one. Now that is cool. Now it can oh yes it has a TF slot. Which I'm assuming that's a micro SD. Not too sure that's we have a look into that. But I'll put a good size card in there. But that is cool. It's a Sega item, so it's not going to collection. We'll pull that on in a minute. If there's any charge in it. That is. Um assuming you got all the chargers and bits in this part of the box. So, ooh, we have a headphone. Oh, they're not Sega headphones. Okay. Ooh, we have like a Game Gear type. Uh, type thing. We have the power plug. Five volts. Four, 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 four volts. Four volts. Oh, I've never seen a four volt one before. I've only seen a five volt. You actually watch that. You got your. PS3 bike charger. Um, okay, and you've got your software disk, which, okay, it says MP4, blah blah blah, that's cool. Get to see that in a minute. Oh, well, we've got the manual. And this is our macro mode, I think. Um, I think it's an analog TV tuner, so I don't think it would work now because analog's been switched off in the, the area I'm in. But you'd probably still be able to tune the stuff into it, like um, 
Yes, I do. Should we make a drive into it? How's that there? But, you know, just a silly to mess with. But that's the content. It's a thin capture lock card slot. Um, okay. Let's get on with switching it on. Now, I'm not too sure what type of internal battery these are. Um, what it takes. But, um, right, let's put the box on the side here. Right. There is no charge in so I must put it on charge. Um, I don't know how they go about battery replacements on these, but um, I could always look into that. Right, anyway, it's a macro. Um, well, this is on, I think it's on macro mode. Give me a second, I'll go into my settings, I think. But I'm more than sure it's definitely in macro mode. Don't give me this, don't give me the uh, option, he's leaving the camera option, but um, you know, dust is already clinging to it. It's a nightmare, dust, I hate dust. Because of space, <laughs> but still, dust is dust. This is the camera lens, it says 2 gig. Sega Amusements, Europe Limited. Um, so I'll, I'll put this on charge. I'm making another video sometime. Um, see, hopefully, because what I want to do is I want to I want to have a look what type of battery these takes, just for future reference. So if I ever need to replace a battery in the future, I can just go and bring in a nice new battery. Because batteries are a pain in the back, so I really did. Especially they're costly as well on them. Some camcorders and stuff. But yeah, it's cool. Um, so I'll put this on charge. What I will do though, excuse the mess with this, on mods stuff and there's all sorts of things. Um, I will show some other awesome stuff. Um, so yep, here's your disc. The funny thing though, it looks like it's a normal CD copy, CDR type copy lock. Um, this does say actual CDR, it does say CDR on it look. I don't know if you can see that, yeah. the sunlight that is, a little ring, it says, um, yeah, CD, let's see, we're focusing to our CDR 220 megabytes, and it's got the barcode, so they didn't even press these discs, which is funny really, because usually they press the discs, I suppose it couldn't be worth their while pressing the discs. Um, another item I'll show in this video, I might as well show it. It's my custom painted Mega Drive. You probably see this on um, the internet somewhere. There's a lot of pictures of these. But, um, well, this is the second one of the kind. They asked the guy nicely, could he paint one? Well, he already had a Mega Drive, he just had to wear. Paint it, but I may actually ask them to paint, to paint another because I have a modified one that plays American Jap NTSC on Japanese, sorry, um, Japanese American and their uh, power games, which I'll show you that one. I'll probably make another video up though and show them all in action. Basically, just like console pass show mods, but it's slightly cheaper because I know a few, I know a dude that does, does one of them. Because, um, well, I'll 
club wants to know now. Um, but um, it's not bad cut actually. I didn't I didn't do this modification. Um, so I'm not stunning. <coughs> but um, I'll hopefully eventually sort of do it myself because um, model ones are a bit more nightmare. And uh, <coughs> yeah, so my my Fantasy 13 console. I mean, it's well, I've got a silver controller, but I'm gonna order in um, <coughs> a controller. <coughs> um, what else? Oh, yes, my Sonic Generations. Oh, Generations Collector's Edition. I'll make another video another time. <coughs> Fake to Xbox. There's no actual Mega CD in there, Mega Drive in there. Box game. I saw like the Hedgehog money box. Um, array of games. Mega CD 32s. PSP games. Another shit on there. Another Mega Drive. Um, <clears throat> oh yes, and this awesome item here. Um, it's another awesome thing I have. I'm making up another video hopefully today. Give me a second. And, um, what was I going to say? There's a fault with the monitor. Um, hopefully, I can get that fixed one day. It's going to cost £125. But eventually, I'll get that done. But first of all, I must just show you this. Now, this. I can't get it to come out. But I mean, in, in behind this this slot here, there's a slot for your Mega CD. Now, one day I'm going to make a, a special cable and a connector so you can plug it directly into a Mega CD so you play Mega CD stuff on here. But it only work with a PAL Mega CD. Which is a shame because I'd love to do a region mod on this. We call it on the reset. Have like say a LED around you somewhere, hold it down, change regions, and that would be awesome if you could do it on this. But I don't think anyone's actually achieved that. These are actually too rare to mess with. But um, I know so I know someone got a forty one of these, but um, probably get it back somehow. Well. It was mine originally, but I just couldn't be bummed with it. Really. Can be asked with it because the PC side wouldn't work, so I thought, well, but maybe will probably pop up on eBay at the time, and it'd be cool. But yeah, well, yeah, let's show this. Um, well, yeah, the sun's up, must be. This happens. Import. Play it. Oh, that's why. Okay. It's a bit hard trying to try to play the game with a keyboard. Never play this game with a keyboard, only a track or mouse. This is a nightmare. Anyway, um, I'll end the video here. Take care everybody.